Well, hello everyone. This is Joe Drums coming to you. I hope everybody out there is doing great. I'm doing awesome. I just wanted to say Happy Thanksgiving today. I wanted to make a video and talk about the rush kit behind me. I've gotten quite a bit of email on some of the hardware, and I wanted to talk about that today. And me and the Rush Band, we've been doing uh, Gold Rush, have been starting to record, or at least I'm starting to record some of the drum parts for some of the Rush songs. We want to do some demo recordings. And I have my microphones placed uh, on the drum set right now, and I wanted to kind of go through all the mics and the, the way I've got them set up. And if you guys have any ideas or other ways that you do it, you know, send them my way. Just, you know, we're sharing ideas. And uh, we're going to do that right now. I'll, uh, let's, let's start off with the microphones and I'll show you how I've got them placed. And we'll take a look at those and let's do that right now. Okay, the next thing I'm going to go over is talking about the ride cymbal stand that uh, Neil Peart used. Now, I don't know exactly the brand that he used, but this brand that I have here is basically a boom stand. And the boom actually is the same circumference as the ride cymbal bell's hole right there, as you can see. And it's just a standard boom stand. You adjust it right there where you need it. And if we go underneath, you'll see that there's the logo sound percussion stand and then I have a felt washer with a metal washer on top of a multi clamp that actually clamps to the boom stand and then adjusts onto the ride cymbal stand I don't know what model this is but if you look you'll see this kind of uh, gadget on it right there and that's pretty much it that's it's it holds the ride cymbal really tight. Um, the crash cymbal's in its spot, really solid. And I don't have any problems with uh, movement. So, and again, it's a double braced cymbal stand. And uh, that's what you guys were all asking about. So, hope that uh, answers a lot of questions. The uh, cowbell stand, I actually have a couple different stands. As you can see here, I have uh, multi clamps. Uh, coming off of one ride cymbal stand and it's actually kind of like a mini boom and I have a cowbell holder and another cowbell holder that's holding two sets the tri-bells and then the uh, the big cowbell the uh, LP at the top is just a regular standard LP Black Beauty and that's pretty much that if you have any questions or any more questions about it just let me know Okay, here we are at the front of the kit. I actually have a microphone. It's a Shure Beta 52 microphone on this bass drum. And then if we go right over to the other bass drum, you'll see I have another Beta 52. Of course, that'll even out the sound. The quality of these microphones are awesome. They've got a lot of punch to them. I love recording with them. And that's what I'm using exclusively there. And down on the floor here, I have a 16-channel snake that actually is plugged into a audio interface unit on my computer and then I can plug the mics directly into here and then this is actually plugged into the audio interface which is connected by a firewire cable. Okay so now we're on the inside of the drum set. Uh, you'll look over here by the toms and I actually have a Beta 98 AMP microphone. It has like a built-in gooseneck on it and you can adjust that. I have that between the six and eight inch tom. I also have another one on this side, again, between the, uh, the, the eight inch and the 10 inch tom. Uh, down below, I have a regular 57, Shure 57 microphone that's picking up the hi-hat sound. And over here, I have another 98 AMP Shure Beta and that is between the two rack toms here and one of the rack toms is on the left base and then the other rack tom is on the right base and here I have another 98 AMP beta um, I opted to go with just one mic between two toms because it's a real powerful mic and it picks up a lot around it so I didn't need to go buy one tom mic for each tom 
Uh, they come in a set of three, and they're usually about 300 350 depending on where you get them. Uh, down below, I have one on my first floor tom. That's the 16-inch floor tom. And then I have an 18-inch floor tom that has another one right there. Uh, way up above, I have the KSM-44 microphone here as an overhead. And if you look over on the other side, I have another one as on the right side of the kit. Or left side for me because I'm inside the kit right now. Uh, and this picks up all the, the percussion, the chimes, uh, the timbales, um, the uh, cowbells, and of course the temple blocks. And I have another chime set up here as well. And for those of you who are interested in the cowbell setup, basically the tribells is what they call them, the three that uh, are known for Neil's drum solo. These are pretty much the standard tribell set. These are made by Pearl, as you can see here. And uh, what I liked about them is they really sounded like the ones that Neil had. Now, Neil had some other brand. I don't know what it is. If you have any ideas of what the, you know, the name brand that he was using, uh, drop a line, let me know. And, of course, all the cymbals are being picked up by the KSM-44 overhead microphones, the splashes. My buddy who worked at a car auto factory had these parts laying around and he saw this and he hit it and it sounded like the beginning of YYZ so he gave it to me and it's like one of those actual crotales but this is not a crotale it's just a, a part that he had found in the garbage but here's what it sounds like pretty cool and of course I have the Dan Dawes pad tribute to the who and of course I have the Mallet Cat Pro, and that's basically it. That's On the snare drum, I'm using a Beta 57 as opposed to uh, the regular 57. I thought the Beta had a lot more dynamic range. It's a little more expensive for that reason. So, you know, if you wanted to use a regular 57, a 57 would work great. But that's pretty much the set, and let's take a look uh, at what it sounds like with. The microphone that's built into this camera and then I'll switch it out and we'll go right to what I've recorded with these drums with the microphones. Alright so let's do that right now. Shh. 